Boudini as he made his arrival, showing up earlier this afternoon. Greetings, everyone. Kevin Arlen here alongside my partner, Clark Kellogg. Glad to have you join us tonight. Only one game away from Chicago here. The Bulls will be back home for the next one. This is the beginning of a pretty favorable window in their schedule. Clark with a lot of home games. They'll be looking to capitalize and to boost their standings. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. Rose and Dang on the floor. Carlos Boozer and Joakim Noah. They're inside. Beautiful, beautiful pass. Well executed there. Doris Burke had a chance to catch up with head coach Nate McMillan. And uh, Doris, what do he tell you? Guys, rather than addressing any shortcomings his team might have, he focused on their defensive prowess. He said that no matter what may go wrong over the course of a game, he knows they can lean on their defensive unit to keep them in the game and get the ship righted. Fellas, back to you. Thanks, Doris. So defense is the key early on. You know, it's not surprising, Kevin, when you think about the great team, so much of their game planning really starts at the defensive end of the floor. The strong finish to throw it down, and he'll go to the line for one more. That one on Rose. Excellent anticipation there, Kev. He placed that pass perfectly. Here is Rose, right now averaging 15 points a game. Here's Houdini. He's covered by Felton, and the shot is good. Six points for him. Kevin, that's just not good defense. You can't be giving players of his talent level looks like that. Come on now. And Rose picks him up defensively. Here is Turioff working on Noah. Now Douglas, Turioff covered by Noah. Turioff misses. He really needs to hit that consistently, or they'll just keep letting him shoot it. And here's Rose back to Dang. Noah with a screen on Felt. Off the pick. Dang can't get it to go. That's not something you'll see very often. Got the mid-range jumper he wanted, but off target. New York, no good that time either. New York on D. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. And you've got the ability to score from all over the floor. I mean, that's what we saw from them all game long. Versatility in their offensive attack. That's a pretty strong indicator of who's walking away with the victory. Douglas, that's good, and so Felton has the assist there. You can't allow him to establish deep position like that. Once he gets it in that close, he's almost unstoppable. Rose with the ball. Dang up top. Rose with the ball. Back to Dang. Four on the clock. Here's Houdini. And the Bulls with another miss. He's had some problems finding the range here in this court. Felton is called for the charm. That is his first foul of the game. Great job by the defender that time. He got his feet set, stood his ground, and absorbed the contact. The Knicks making a switch here. Here's Houdini. We saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. Let's go with a three. Kept alive. Goes up. It's Boozer missing. The Knicks with the lead. And going against Chicago, their first meeting of the season. The first of four between these teams this season. Nice shot by Felton. Here is Rose. Right around five minutes left in the first. Dang kicks it to Noah. Taken away by Felton. The Knicks leading by four. Here's Douglas. Dumps it off. Behind the arc. Felton can't get it to go. Four games, one team. That's, that's a nice chunk of your schedule. Exact same conference too, Kevin. So anytime you face a conference team, it's even more important and significant that you take them out. Looked like a good call from here where I said definitely some contact on that shot. The first free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Here is Felton. Coming off a solid outing against Washington. Douglas, the pass to Felton. Over Noah. Now the Bulls with it. Trailing by two. They defeated Indiana in their last game. One of the things that stood out to me and that I really liked in their game was the effort on defense. 
They did a nice job covering shooters, rotating to guys with the ball. They contained them when they had to, got some big stops, and then they limited the outside shooting game. From deep, Gallinari. That's good. Five points in the game. He might not get a better look than that all game. You have to get closer to him. He's not going to bite you. Get up. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. And so here is Chicago. Pass to Maggetti. And it's Johnson picking him up. And that one's good by Maggetti. Maggetti's got his first basket of the night. You know, you can't stop him every time, so accept the fact that sometimes you end up giving up close looks like that one. Thornton with it. Gibson, he's covered by Randolph. Shot's good by Gibson. And so here is New York. 133 left in the first quarter. Ellington, he's guarded by Thornton. From 20 feet out, and the Knicks getting another bucket right there. Here's Rose, still looking to get on the scoreboard. Here's Houdini, stripped it away. I think this quarter particularly, we're seeing them having trouble keeping possession of the ball. Far, far too many turnovers right now. Nice job at the line, and that one falls to pick up the end one. Here's Johnson. Here's Houdini, covered by Maggetti. Houdini, that savvy little up fake there. Cool in the D. My goodness, it seems like he's got every point this quarter. Just an amazing job helping to cut into this lead. He's another guy who had a stellar performance in that win against Washington. No good from Maggetti. There's another example, Kevin, of how they're hustling to all the missed shots to get an edge in the rebounding area. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Misses the three after the nice pump fake. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December taking a look at Chicago. So far, they've got the fourth best record in the conference. And of course, New York, two games back. And the first one drops. So both teams changing it up here. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Rose. Got it up. And that's off as he tries to beat the buzzer. And some great offensive action to get this one underway. A closely contested game here at the start of the second quarter. Here's Felton, six-point game. So for Chicago right now, Carlos Boozer and Joaquin Noah, they're inside. Derrick Rose is out there with Thornton. Here's Douglas. That's good, and so Felton has the assist there. He's been extremely active out there, and he has the stats to prove it. Terrific hustle. Here's Thornton. Against Indiana, he was really on his game. A three. It's hauled in by Felton. You got to expect more out of him here. He's had a lot of difficulty this quarter, which in turn is making it difficult for them to cut into this deficit at all. Maggetti. I think that's going to take away from what he does. The team's going to have to pick it up on the defensive end. And here's what the Chicago Bulls schedule is looking like. They'll be playing the 76ers. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. The first one falls for him. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 
Here's Thornton. Five points in the game. Pass to Rose. His first shot of the game. Noah. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Noah's got his first two points of the night. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. Here's Dottemeyer. He picked up 24 points in their last one against Washington. Felton against Rose. Five on the clock. Cuts off the pass. Your team doesn't need that mistake. You got to be efficient. Excellent defense, and the steal earns them a quick bucket in transition. The Knicks leading by six. And here is Felton, right now averaging 11 points a game. No good from Maggetti. Good job hustling here. I mean, making the extra effort. When you're down, you have to do all of the little things, Kevin. And they do have a slight disadvantage on the boards. And so here is New York. They've led by as much as 10. Felton the pass to Maggetti. Again, the miss by Maggetti. Bulls trail by six. Here's Houdini. Knocks down the trifecta. He's got 17. The fast break left the defense scrambling to react, and they couldn't get to him in time. Here's Douglas. And the Knicks miss again. Now the Bulls with it. It's a three-point game. Following this one, they get to host the Warriors. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Here's Dottemeyer. He's got five. And here is Felton. Left side, Randolph. Will it go? And the Knicks miss again. We've seen them with a lot of good ball movement. That's exactly the way to play. The fans love it. It's fun for the players. I love it. And more importantly, it's tough to defend. Pass to Boozer. Tipped. Working on Randolph. From 11 feet away. And it's Boozer that time in the assist by Rose. Boozer's got his second bucket of the night. The Knicks with the lead. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. These players have excelled at setting up their teammates this month. The 2K leaderboard shows us the recent assist leaders. Luol Dang has checked in for Chicago. Rose against Felton. And Rose picks him up defensively. Arcs it high. Here's Douglas. The dump off. So here's Gallinari. Jacks up a three. Houdini snatches down the defensive board. Now Noah. Now Stoudemire defending. Here's Houdini. That's good on the layup. Great feed for the bucket. He's got 19. What a run. They're making shots and playing lockdown deep. Douglas kicks to Randall. Over Boozer. And the Knicks miss again. And here are the Bulls now. 11 unanswered points for him. Here's Houdini. Kept alive. Noah misses the layup. New York trailing. Felton the pass to Randall. Over Noah. New York, no good that time either. Here's Houdini. 19 points in the game. Beyond the arc. That's good. He's got 22. 10 in this quarter. Boy, this is fun to watch. This guy is putting on a show right now. He's making it look really easy. New York calls timeout. Here is Felton. 
Douglas with it. 